All right, welcome back, guys. JC here, continuing with the uh, well, another Free Sky XM video. As always, look in the description below. I'll leave you my XM playlist as well as my Tyrannus playlist. So, say you tried to bind your receiver, and instead of getting the solid green light, you're now getting the solid green and solid red light. What this means is the firmware between the transmitter and receiver are conflicting with one another. And I'm not talking about version numbers or anything like that. I mean, there's actually a what I mean is there's actually two different types. You have the FCC and you also have the LBT. Uh, so I, I believe LBT is mostly used for, I don't even know what countries it is. Uh, I know here in America we have FCC. So if you're in, in a different country and your transmitter probably has that type of firmware on it, you need to put that type of firmware on your receiver. So here's how you do it. Let's start by preparing the receiver. What I mean by this is we need a three wire servo connector and solder it onto the receiver. Make sure you get the uh, wiring order correct. Okay, here we go. I've got my S bus wire here, power in the middle, and ground towards the outside. And you will notice that I have depinned the power and ground, and then I flip flop them and put them back in. There's a reason for this. So on this side of the connector, you want signal ground in the middle and power on the outside. And I will show you why in just a second, but first, let's go to the Tyrannus. If you haven't watched my other Tyrannus series videos, then uh, you might want to watch those. I'll show you how to update the firmware in your Tyrannus, how to change the drivers in it, how, uh, how to get the OpenTX companion working, and many more videos. So if none of this works for you, you might have to go back and watch a few videos. Uh, so now let's hold both of these in and then power it on. You will get this menu once you do that. And we're not going to press anything on this menu. All we want to do is take the mini USB cable and plug it into the back. This way we can access the memory card. Now let's go online and do a search for FreeSky or frsky and that will take you to frsky-rc.com then let's click download and firmware and then find uh, if you have the xm then you will choose xm if you have the xm plus then choose the xm plus if you didn't know there there actually is two different receivers i am using the xm so let's click that and you want to click download right here because if you click download over here you're getting the version from December 8th of 2016 if you click up here you're getting the newer version which is from December 25th so click here I have a file that I use for all of my RC stuff and then I've already made a file for FreeSky XM you don't have to name it that just my, the point I'm trying to make is download it somewhere where you will remember where it's at so I will click there and save my file to there we can now close this out now I'll go back to that folder so I will go to FreeSky XM and now we have to unzip it so right click and then click extract all and make sure it's extracting into the same folder or at least where you know it's going to go then extract I will now delete the download because we no longer need it. Click on this, click it again, and now we see a FCC version of firmware and a LBT. Uh, if you're in the in the United States, you're going to use FCC. If you're, I don't know, I wherever else you are, then it's going to be LBT. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Let's just back up one folder, and I will cut or you can copy, doesn't matter, cut or copy. Then go to the memory card on the Tyrannus, which uh, it's in my drive E, it might be in your drive D. And let's click firmwares, then come over here and paste it. Now we can close this out, disconnect the USB cable from the Tyrannus, power it off. If you take the cover off the back of your Tyrannus, you will notice, uh, I think it's five pins. Yeah, we've got five pins. I've gone ahead and labeled them for you. 
the top two pins we will not use at all so this pin or this pin the middle pin is going to be positive this is negative and then the bottom pin is going to be your SBUS wire or the signal wire and for that reason that is why I flip-flopped these wires and this connector because uh, the way they come power is in the middle and ground is on the outside so if I plug this into there you should get an idea of what it looks like power ground and then S bus now let's turn the trans on hey JC welcome back hold down the menu button and then press the page button and then come down to firmwares and press enter then come down to the file that we just placed into the trans and press enter uh, like I said most of these receivers come with FCC firmware so if you were getting the solid green and solid red light then that probably means you need LBT uh, so I would recommend trying LBT first if that doesn't work then you can try FCC now I purposely put LBT firmware on it just to show you guys what the lights look like but what I actually need is FCC so I will be picking FCC so click enter and then enter again to flash external device and it's going to start writing and you will also notice the light starts flashing uh, on the receiver well solid green and flashing red and once this finishes uh, writing then the lights will turn off of the receiver okay once it's done then uh, you can just exit out and then power it off let's disconnect it from here now I'm going to go into my trance and rebind it back. I'm not going to cover how to bind this just look in the description below find the XM playlist and there's a video in there and how to uh, on how to bind it so I'm going to hold this little button down apply power to it I'm now getting a solid green and blinking red light once you turn binding off of the Tyrannus remove power from it and then reapply power to it you should now get a solid green light and that's it you've now changed firmwares like I said before if you're not getting a solid green light then you probably picked the wrong firmware so go back redo everything we just did but this time pick the other firmware so if this video helped you out if you could please give me a like uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.